and rising my beloveds. I hope you guys are good. If you guys are healthy, if you guys take care of yourself from outside, we got a little one. Um, it's been a while since I have posted here on the YouTube, you know, um, but I've been led to come do a reading to share here on YouTube, and I'll probably share it on my TikTok. Um, it's nice actually seeing an unfiltered video of myself <laughs> although i love the filters it's fun you know you're looking like a barbie doll but also you have to embrace your natural look the way that most high made you okay um and on my self-love journey it's really been taught to me in the hardest but also beautiful way because Sometimes you need to realize that our physical appearance, actually, it's beautiful, it's precious, we honor it, but it's not even us. There's more to us in this world, um, but we should honor our vessel and we should embrace that, you know? Love yourself. And it's not just about dressing good and looking good and also looking good according to what standard, you know? Because we have to rid some projections that have been thrown at us through Western indoctrinations and societal norms. Okay, um, whether you have scars, whether you have dark skin, or whatever that this world has told you is not beautiful, trust and believe that you are absolutely gorgeous. And this world is backward, this world is evil. And the things that they say we shouldn't like or shouldn't embrace are actually the things that we should. So, embrace yourself, embrace your natural hair, black women, love and honor yourself totally. So it's like bam in the morning. Um, I just felt led to come on here and do a quick message for you guys. Um, hopefully, baby is not gonna take too long. And hopefully, I'm not gonna take too long. Um, but I haven't been here in a while as well, so I really need the energies, you know. So I'm gonna get straight to this collective reading. Okay, our spirit for collective reading. Um, and I was told this pertaining the next six months okay um so this could be your message this could be a collective it could not be as well take the messages that resonate leave those that don't okay so without further ado let's get straight to it okay so the first card that i actually got was independence Okay, I'm gonna show it to you just now. Okay, and spirit is really saying here that you have been seeking more independence in your life. Maybe you are in a codependent relationship, maybe you're still stuck in a your home environment. I'm hearing many of you, okay. Um, maybe finances have been very low or hard. Uh, season for you maybe you know i know collectively we're all going through it but like it's it's been a lot on you and spirit is saying that they are hearing your concerns they're hearing your cries and that your needs are coming to be met you know you are going to get the sense of independence that you're desiring um but also understand that we are not an island and we don't stand alone and you know receive the help that you get and honor it and, and appreciate it and know that it's coming from the most high and your ancestors you know um but definitely you are coming into like a huge change okay especially in your home environment okay um spirit even confirmed it okay so many of you are needing needing a new home because not some of you are doing the healing work i'm sure some of you are healers okay and your you can't really heal in the place that you hurt, you know. And now that you see it for what it is, spirit is allowing healing to spread. Okay, so financial assistance, um, or some of you, it could be even uh, you might move in with someone. Some of you might be in a relationship with someone. The relationship could get to another level. Um, some of you could be a friend. Some of you, um, yeah. But somehow you're gonna be let out of the situation. Okay. If some of you are needing to be renting out on your space, for it's gonna give you the extra money to actually, you know, have that space and get out of the environment. For some of you, it's very toxic, and for others, it's just very triggering. You know, your inner child is just constantly bombarded with memories and energies of the old, and you are 
being ushered into a new reality you know so embrace it and know that your dreams are valid okay and protect them do things protect them don't go around telling people that this is something that you're manifesting because there's some energies that are also definitely against it okay and just like any polarity force okay in all circumstances so keep your mouth shut when it comes to this manifestation okay and the next card i got which is also confirmation you know is companion spirit is also saying that you need to be mindful of your companion okay um some people they're in your life and then they are serving you and they have been actually energy vampires they've been feeding off of you leeching off of you for a very long time you may not have realized that this is the type of dynamic but when spirits are showing you okay that's when you actually start to pull away your energy even if it's someone that's around you and you cannot completely cut them off right now but cut them off in energy okay don't think or dwell about uh, certain events and things that they are t constantly trying to bombard you because that's how they eat at your energy that's how narcissists work that's how energy vampires work they want to throw their darkness at you in order to feed off of your light feed off of your energy okay so how do you stop that okay there's so many um maybe i'll do a, actually a video maybe on this social media um or um my tiktok or probably both i'll probably post both um on how to deal with the narcissist how to get rid of an energy vampire you know the tools okay from the energy cleansings you need to do from the way you need to start acting the way you need to start moving okay especially when you cannot get rid of this person currently in your energy field um but spirit always makes it happen hence why maybe many of you are manifesting this new home okay because they don't need to be around you okay um but it's always realize that it's not necessarily the person okay you need to understand that you're dealing with the spirit and the entity that is ruling this person okay and we deal with most of our fights spiritually okay so stay in high vibration do what you need to do meditate you know go into nature spirit is going to lead you to get out of these toxic rela uh, relationships some of you it's partners some of you it's family members okay some of you it's a friend sorry i'm just watching my boo 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 because he's also having a fun time here <laughs> goodness <laughs> boy don't do that what's up giving you those okay you know babies they never want to play with their toys they always want to play with your well, my babies do that anyway so the last card as well is earth okay so you are needing a sense of grounding okay because maybe you have to, many of you are experiencing spiritual attacks i'm hearing okay but many of you are just having a lot of ruminating thoughts especially this gemini full moon uh did a whole shift in us um mentally our crown chakras our third eyes are activated but also we're like receiving a lot of uh transmutional energy some clearing so uh, the energies are very intense um go to the earth the earth is the great mother she's the healer okay spend time in nature some of you spend time in water or seeing water okay so natureful ones are great so the ocean the river but even if you're taking baths don't swimming you know just spend time in water it cleanses you as a water child you know who this message is for okay it might not be for all of you but. so yes just know that your dreams are valid and just know that don't you shouldn't trust like doubt your intuition when spirit is you to make bold moves move but just always move in silence and do not allow yourself to be projected by this um narcissist because i'm hearing someone that's close to you could be many of you also could be a mother so that when it's a narcissistic mother it's like the worst you rather <laughs> you rather deal with this energy in a, in a different person you know uh but it's usually always manifesting from our parents but we're also going to see it with outer outer people <laughs> okay guys my baby is just having the best time but i think i need to just pay attention to him now um hope you receive this message for those that are needed and love you stay blessed peace